Hello Gemini lovers and welcome back to the 18 and up in material garden. This of course is the red light special bonus sexual energies reading for the month of October. And keep in mind that yesterday the sun moved into the sign of Libra and also today the moon was void of course but it is the waning gibbous in Taurus at one degree and 54 minutes. All right lovers let's go ahead and get into it. Remember Gemini lovers this is usually for those of you that are involved in with someone might be in a relationship a situationship or at least have your eye on someone but if you are hella single that's all right my friends go ahead and listen this could be an indication of the energies or the people that might be coming towards you for the month of October. All right let's go ahead and get into it what are the top three energies influencing your person sexual erotic romantic for the month of october please we do have emotionally available so ding 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 winner winner chicken dinner <laughs> gemini lovers it looks like you might finally uh, either your person is finally ready to open up more or to open up to the relationship or to the commitment or you're finally meeting someone that is emotionally available okay what else do we have here we have devoted parent so for some of you the person that you are either that is emotionally available now that is ready they may also be ready to have children or they may be very good with your children if you already have them okay one way or another it looks like this person whoever it is whether it's a person that's finally gotten to the point where they're ready for the next level of commitment or if it's someone completely new it looks like this person is crazy about you it looks like they are embracing this relationship it looks like they are embracing the idea of having or raising a family together whether you some of you know whether there's already children involved or not okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me what is the last energy that may be influencing affecting your person sexual erotic romantic for the month of october please we do have uh primal energy Ooh, so your person could be really uh they could be really turned on by you <laughs> even more so than usual in october it's like they crave you they crave your scent they crave your taste they crave your smell is what i'm getting also they definitely if you have been having um protected sex they want to go exclusive and they want to <laughs> they want to go bare with you is what i'm getting they want to bear it all they want they want to feel skin to skin is what i'm getting here okay for others if you know maybe you've been a little more uh i feel like there's this more hungry side of your person maybe even a little bit more um shadowy in terms of their sexual energy but i feel like it's really enjoyable i feel like it makes it hot okay i feel like things are getting hot and steamy between you and your lover i feel like they're revealing certain uh fantasies and certain cravings that maybe they were more shy about opening up about before but i feel like they i feel like they're exposing all i feel like they're telling you all their dirty little secrets i feel like they just cannot control themselves when they're with you i feel like some of them might just like it might scare them a little bit because it's this almost like animalistic desire to possess to uh possess and to uh use you know uh, sexually use and to uh satisfy you okay Woo, all right, that's pretty steamy, Gemini lovers. Let's go ahead and take a look. Tell me about this emotional availability, which is pretty sexy in itself. Tell me about emotional availability in the situation. Tell me about emotional availability. We do have growing together so it does look like your person like they want to they want to grow with you to the next level they want to go to the next level it looks like they also feel like there's a future together with you you know again not just as lovers but as co-creators mutual manifestors as parents as well okay for the future i feel like your person definitely wants to have children or wants to raise this family with you primal energy may also be they really want to you know breed you or they really want to you know put a baby inside of you okay if that's if that's possible or appropriate okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me about the devoted parent energy we have no pressure that being said your person doesn't you know they're not 
basing the whole future or basing being with you based on you know whether or not you have kids i'm just saying that they are completely ready to embrace parenthood with you or if you need some more time they're ready to you know just have fun with you one way or another i just i feel like they want to be close to you they want to be your one and only they want to be true to you they want you to say yes to this deeper level of connection and they, they really want to rock that body okay <laughs> tell me about primal energy we have blessing not a burden so if you have children with this person or if you some of you if you may be pregnant or you may have gotten your partner pregnant and you're afraid that the other person you're wondering how they really feel about it I feel like your person, no matter what their reaction was, they are going to feel like, or they do feel like it's a blessing, not a burden. I also feel like here, it's like part of why they didn't want to, they were so paranoid about maybe having children or why you were so paranoid could be someone was afraid that they weren't going to be a very good parent. I feel like someone is coming to terms with their fears of parenthood, with their fears of, you know, adulthood or parenthood. And I feel like, um, you know, whatever it is lessons are learned and it just ends up really positive i also feel like here blessing not a burden your person really wants you to know that they are not like the other people that you've been with the people that have disappointed you the people that you have been forced to leave behind because they they could not they could not go the distance with you okay your person is telling me they can go the distance i feel like this is hercules energy you may either uh you may love Disney or something like that, <laughs> or if there's some sort of, maybe uh, you watch Disney movies with your kids, but I'm definitely getting Hercules. This person wants to be your hero. This wants to be a, he person wants to be a hero in your eyes, okay? There's a lot of love here. I mean, there's just a lot of love here, a lot of uh, intimacy, a lot of communication. I mean, this feels like a hella, hella healthy relationship, Gemini lovers, and I'm excited. You might even be a little bit skeptical because I don't know if you've necessarily had had a relationship quite at this emotional maturity level <laughs> or a partner perhaps at this emotional maturity level let's go ahead and see what else we have here we have sunday kind of love this is a lover not a fighter i feel like there's you're so gentle with each other i feel like there's so much tenderness here and gentleness it's like unlike you've experienced because i feel like this is a very peaceful love i feel like in the in in the past your loves have been you, you know your love affairs have been really stormy i feel like you're you're ready to come into safe harbor I feel like your person, it's like, maybe you've always been afraid of this type of love, though, because, yeah, I feel like in the past, America's Most Wanted, I feel like you're always with the bad girl, the bad boy, or maybe you are the bad girl or the bad boy. But I do get the sense, this feels, this feels safe, it feels whole. All right, tell me about, um, tell me something else about this uh, we have circle of trust energy. So Gemini lovers, this is definitely someone that you feel like you can trust your heart, your your body, your thoughts with, okay? I feel like this person also has, this lover, this, this partner has definitely done a lot to prove that you are it for them, okay? They've shown that, they've shown their loyalty, they've shown their true colors, and they all are brilliant and beautiful and pure, all right so whatever this is nothing's gonna tear the two of you apart and i feel like it can only get better from here your person is ready to grow and to uh, keep go moving forward to challenge you in the ways that you enjoy and the ways that are good for you but to not bring any of the nonsense or drama from the past that other people have disappointed you with into the mix, all right? Your person also just absolutely loves your body. They love being sexual with you. They love the connection that you have. I feel like they've told you dirty secrets or sexual fantasies that they have never shared with others. I feel like also if there's ever been something sexual that you wanted to experiment with, but you've been squeamish or you've been shy about it, I I feel like this lover brings it out in you. I feel like there's nothing you can say to this lover that they can't work with, that they won't think is completely hot, and that they would not want to explore with you, okay? Woo! <laughs> that is really... <laughs> um, 
Also, I feel like, you know, but even though I get this very deep sexual, very powerful sexual energy, this primal sexual energy, I do, you know, it, it's all held together with love, all right? The love, the, the relationship is what is most important to your person, but it's like the sex is delicious. <laughs> all right, what do we have here at the bottom? We have ready for love, all right? Yes, you you and your person are both ready for love, ready to embrace this. This is going to be such a fantastic union, such a fantastic partnership. And I'm just really excited for you, Gemini lovers, for the month of October, for those of you that this is truly for you, okay? All right, my lovers, we're going to move forward. We're going to move forward into the second part of the reading. And keep in mind that the second part, you know, I'm going to pull it and I'm going to read it as the cards come out for me. But if the other side of the table resonates with you, feel free, take it as it resonates. Just don't force anything. And also keep in mind that this portion of the reading, it can be an extension of the first part of the reading, or we could be tapping into other energies or other people in the collective, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into it and keep in mind the last and third part of this reading will be the sexual confessions for your person. So we will explore what is it that your person truly desires? What do they crave? What do they fantasize about? What do they want to do to or with you? Ooh. <laughs> All right, Gemini lovers, but let's go ahead and get into the dynamics of this relationship and what are the overall energies for you, Gemini lovers, for the month of October, sexual, erotic, romantic? And then what are the overall energies for your person for the month of October, sexual, erotic, romantic? Last but not least, what are your shared energies for this month of October, sexual, erotic, romantic? Ooh, okay, let's go ahead and get into these cards. First, we do have, we have the wing energy. So it feels like you're taking flight. This love is lifting you higher and higher. I feel like you are, I feel like you're soaring. I also feel like if you've ever had trouble climaxing, I feel like you just do not have that problem within this, this sexual <laughs> within the sexual relationship with your person, okay? I feel like also that might surprise you. For some of you, maybe for whatever reason, some people, I feel like maybe some people in the past, even though it, you know, maybe they just really weren't doing it for you. They weren't hitting the spot. I feel like your person, they know exactly where to hit. They know exactly where to touch you. They know they know exactly what to do to, you know, set your wings on fire, so to speak. <laughs> it also could be maybe maybe your your lover is a little more experienced or maybe they're just a little more considerate <laughs> okay maybe maybe in the past you've mostly had people that were that were I feel like even if you enjoyed it, you've mostly had people that cared only about their own pleasure. And here it's different because your person, your lover, definitely cares about your experience sexually. And they don't make you do all the work, all the all the heavy lifting is what I'm getting. Because I feel like in the past, you might have been with some people that were a little bit, you know, maybe towards the end, they got a little bit sexually lazy, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me about the overall energies for your person for the month of October. October. We do have the cat energy. So with the cat energy, I feel like, you know, for some of you, your, your person, they might be a little more distant or they could be, they could be a little more, they could be freaking out a little bit. Maybe they are uh, missing their independence a little bit, or maybe they're concerned about losing their independence. For others, I feel like your person is just enamored with you. The, the cat energy could be the queen of wands energy. And I feel like if that is the case, either they look at you like you are the, you know, the absolute epitome of desire, okay? Of sensuality, sexuality, desire. I feel like you are on fire. I feel like you're, you know, they, your sex sets them on fire. That's what I get, okay, as well. Also, it's, you know, Aries energy, so your person could be very sexually attracted to you, especially during the month of October. It just feels like they cannot freaking get enough of you. Gemini lovers, this came out in the first part too. I just feel like someone just cannot get enough of you, Gemini. It's like your body, your essence, your energy, they just are, they are hooked, okay? 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me, and this could have been someone who in the past, maybe they played games in the past, or maybe they played games with other people. Maybe this person, you know, they got a lot of people that are interested in them, but they only see you. They only crave you. All right, let's go ahead. Ooh, that's pretty hot. Let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the shared energy between the two of you, sexual, erotic, romantic, for this month of October? We have the call box. I feel like your person is definitely, if you don't live with this person, they want to come over. They might they might just show up, might want to surprise you. You know, they're buzzing, asking, is it okay if I come up? Gemini, I'm craving you. Gemini, I drove all night to get to you, okay? I get either Roy Orbison or... Um, Cindy Lauper, I drove all night. Energy, I mean, this person, it's like they crave your touch. They crave your kisses. They crave your your conversation even. I feel like, you know, they come over, you, you spend all night talking and fucking and just having like an amazing time doing nothing with this person. I feel like that absolutely... I feel like if you're not head over heels for them already or they're not already head over heels for you, it's about to happen. This is this is the moment, all right? I feel like they are also communicating with you. They are they're telling you that they don't want to play games. They are I feel like they're just being transparent. I feel like they are trying to, for some of you, this could be someone who's trying to win you back. Could be an Aries that's trying to win you back or possibly an air sign, another Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. One way or another, whether this is someone new, this is someone that you're, you're with and things have just been going amazing with, or this is someone from the past that dicked you around, someone is coming a calling and you want to talk to them. It looks like you are having this conversation. You're telling them, well, convince me tell me you know what is it that you want why did you come here and i feel like that's what they're telling you all right tell me about the wing energy for you tell me about the wing energy for you uh we do have the um the blossoming flowers the blossoming bush so yeah i feel like you are you are blossoming you are glowing you are you are receptive you are open i feel like this is also like empress energy could be uh, venus energy taurus energy or libra energy but i feel like you're ready for good things you're ready to accept love you're ready for abundance and it is coming in for you my loves all right, Gemini lovers, let's go ahead and pull what's, tell me about this cat energy for your person. We do have the blue skies and the bridge. Yeah, it looks like your person, it's like you are their idyllic, you know, you are the marvel, you are the vision, you are the horizon for them that they will always reach for, that they will always love, and they will always, um, be inspired by, okay? Wow, you really make this person believe that life can be good, life can be better. You help this person expand, especially their mind. Also, I feel like you help to clear the clouds. I feel like you help them focus. You help them figure out what's important or, you know, what's good for them. That's what I get. They they believe they truly believe that you are looking out for them and they just think you you are so smart and so sexy and also so savory and delicious. <laughs> All right, Gemini lovers, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me what is a, tell me more about this shared energy between you, about this callback energy between you and your person for October. We have the telephone, okay? First of all, I do see the money cat here. So for you and your person may not just be bringing love. They may be bringing some sort of wealth, money, or gift for you. But one way or another, this is a good fortune, fortunate connection, okay? This person is reaching out to you on your private line. You got that, uh, you know, um, I just feel like they're they're blowing up your phone because they have something that they can't stop anymore that they you know they want to tell you how much that they love you what they feel for you that you know you're worth the effort you're worth the weight the weight you are their blue skies all right Ooh, all right uh let's go ahead and take a look here tell me about what's at the bottom of the deck for your person yeah we have the rowboat energy we have synergy so your person really they want to get on board with you they want to be on the same page they, they want to go in the same direction towards headed towards the future together this also kind of looks like the six of swords energy to me except instead of one person you know leading the other person out everyone works together or you're both working together to get 
both of you out of an uncomfortable or out of a challenging situation, getting to, you know, finding better, um, higher ground or a better situation, but not one of you saving the other, you're saving each other, okay? Or you're in, better yet, you're empowering each other to save yourselves together, all right? That is awesome energy, all right? Especially if maybe this person, especially if this is someone that you've been with that has been resistant in the past, the, the doors are open, okay? It's a go. Ooh, all right, Gemini lovers, let's go ahead and get into the last part of this reading. I'm gonna get a drink and then we're going to explore your person's sexual confessions, okay? All right, Gemini lovers, Let's go ahead and take a look here. What is it that your lover truly desires? Oh, and before we start this section, I do want to put a couple caveats here. So the first one is this section more than the others may resonate with a different group, or it could be an extension of the first two parts of the reading for you, depending on how it hits, how it resonates for you. Also keep in mind, I am going to try my best to channel in the energies of the person that you have on your mind. But sometimes we do get strange randos that just have a lot of passion or a lot of fantasies towards you, but maybe they're not revealing themselves. Sometimes we're going to tap into your ex. It just happens. If we start a line and it looks like it's going to go, you know, off the rails or it's going to get a bit wonky, then I will pull a new spread for you after we finish the line just to make sure that there isn't a reason why you're getting those messages about that person. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and shuffle these cards and we are going to ask, what is it that your person truly desires? What are all their dirty little secrets and fantasies that they want to tell you but they haven't had the courage yet? Tell me about your person's sexual confessions towards you for the month of October, please. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. We have punishment consensual. Ooh, so maybe you and your person enjoy a little bit of... Um, sensual punishment, maybe some power exchange, maybe a little BDSM, whichever aspect you dabble in. But here I feel like someone may also just love your ass is what I'm getting. Someone loves your ass and they love just to rub, run their hands all over your ass and then to spank you and to stimulate you with their hands and their with their fingers, okay? For some of you, or this might be how you feel about your person's body, but ultimately someone just loves to <laughs> loves to um, spank that tushy is what I'm getting. Someone loves to also feel their partner squirming against them, or they love to squirm against their partner trying to, you know, kind of trying to get free, but not really, okay? Also, this could be linked to some sort of role play. So you might be into some sort of role play, or maybe you just love it when, you know, I kind of get when dad how do your mommy spanks that ass, okay? <laughs> Ooh, all right, let's go ahead and take a look here. We have ride it. So someone definitely loves to, uh, I feel like someone loves it when their partner takes them rough and hard, just climbs on up and takes what they want. Maybe even, um, you know, holds them down or pins them down. I feel like someone or someone absolutely loves the way their partner rides them while they, while they, I feel like maybe hand around the, the neck or in the throat. So while they kind of lightly hold them down or pin them down by the neck or possibly squeak, giving their, their throat a little squeeze. Okay. So I feel like definitely someone though is a lot more, even if you're not usually this adventurous or this, um, this physical, I feel like there's something about this this sexual chemistry that just, ooh, it just, it gets pretty filthy <laughs> and pretty physical, all right? We do have hair pulling consensual. Yeah, I feel like someone especially loves it when someone rides them doggy and pulls their hair back. Or someone, you know, might, someone might actually love when someone runs their fingers through their hair and maybe pulls it back either gently or pulls it back roughly, especially while they're giving the, their lover oral sex is what I'm getting. They really love when their lover may take control of their head during oral and either grind their face against their sex or, you know, push it deep down their throat by using and using their hair as a way to direct them, okay? 
Ooh, all right, we also have nature sex. So it looks like you and your person may enjoy rough, nasty sex outdoors. <laughs> you and your lover, Gemini, may actually drive to remote locations to, you know, fuck under the stars and, you know, to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to get pounded next to the rocks is what I'm getting. Uh, maybe n near water or in a, in a forest or something. But I do get the sense you like to... Uh you like to change your location or setting just to keep it spicy, all right? We also have, um, we have casual encounters. So you may have met this, your lover or person. Maybe you met them on Tinder or maybe you met them on some sort of link up site or dating site. Maybe it was meant to be a casual encounter, but if it was a casual encounter, I feel like you've seen each other several times since. I feel like it's developing either into a more long-term sexual you know, relationship, or you might actually be moving into a legitimate relationship with this person, okay? We do have sexual preferences and practices. I feel like you and this person have very good communication about what you both desire, what you want, what kind of sex you enjoy. I feel like this person also is able to bring out, um, you know, I feel like you, you feel safe sharing all of your all of your sort of uh, fantasies with this person is what I'm getting and they feel safe sharing it with you. I feel like it's that's why the sex is so hot. That's why you're having the time of your life. I mean, I feel like you are also able to experiment with, again, maybe being more of a top or more of a bottom, more dominant, more submissive, whatever it is, it feels like this lover is safe to experiment with. And I think that that in depth, you know, that makes you feel almost indebted to them or makes you feel very connected to them or vice versa, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Gemini lovers, what else can we see here? We do have nudist energy. So someone may absolutely love being naked or they love to see you naked. I feel like maybe both of you don't spend a lot of time with your clothes on, possibly because it's a waste of time. I feel like as soon as you, just as soon as you get dressed, you're, you're both pretty hungry for each other and ready to get undressed again okay <laughs> all right what do we have with a uh, riot with ride it we have tie you up or down so definitely could be some bondage involved or just someone absolutely loves to be held down by their partner while they fuck, fuck them rough from behind especially is what i'm getting or someone loves it when their partner puts their hands above their head and holds their hands while they just ride <laughs> ride their sex for all it's worth okay Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. all right gemini lovers all right let's go ahead and get into this let's see we also have hair pulling consensual we also have come on command so someone may give you a may give you a countdown for your orgasms that just sets your body on fire or you might like to give your person a, a countdown to um you know and if they don't come maybe they get punished maybe they get spanked or someone gets spanked or punished or teased more okay uh teased more sexually all right uh someone absolutely i feel like your lover absolutely wants to own your orgasms is what i'm getting here they may actually have you they might actually either prevent you from from having orgasms on your own like masturbating i mean obviously it's a consensual but almost to the point where it just drives you crazy where you might even start getting like super grumpy and then they just let you have it they just plow you they just slay you <laughs> okay or um it could also be here it's like a they may actually even if you are when you have orgasms they may have you tally them or keep track of them okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me more about this nature sex that being said why do you feel so natural together because it is a soul connection because again even though we're talking about you know sexual sexual satisfaction and and sexual activity i feel like there is something so much deeper that allows you to enjoy this type of sex together because that's why you trust each other even though this was supposed to be more casual or even though you know you didn't think it was going to go anywhere it's like sexual preferences and practices you're also talking about your life your your opinions your feelings a lot more than just sex is what i'm getting here sex brought you together but you're staying for love staying for the soul connection is what i'm getting or your person is all right let's go ahead and see here we we have doesn't care who sees or hears us so your person may be a bit of an exhibitionist possibly or it's like they get so deep into the sex with you they don't really care if anyone is watching or 
or listening, they're like, they're like, they should, if anyone's watching or listening, they should say thank you. <laughs> Ooh, that's what your person says, because that's how good your sex is together. You know, have anyone watching is bound to be having a good time. And if they don't, if they're not, they can get the fuck out. They can turn their, they can avert their eyes is what I'm getting. I just feel like your person, they don't mess around when it comes to your body, when it comes to sex with you, because they're like, you know, you should say thank you for being able to see my hot Gemini lover. <laughs> Woo! All right. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me, tell me more about this. Uh, we do have. Please wait for me, though. So it is possible that your person, maybe they are away, or maybe you're at a distance. But it's uh, maybe you could be long distance. Maybe they're on a trip currently, or maybe they're traveling for work. One way or another, they don't want you with anyone else. They want you. They want you to themselves. Also, I feel like, you know, it could also be even if you're with this person, it's like they don't ever want you to be with someone else. So I feel like they're going to tell you they want to move to the next level or they're going to give you some sort of offer. OK, all right, let's go ahead and see what's at the bottom of the deck. We do have use your tongue or mouth. Uh, so your person also absolutely loves the way that you not just the way that you give them oral or your tongue or your mouth i feel like they also really love the way you think the way you are able to articulate your ideas especially your dirty fantasies or secrets i feel like they are enamored with um they're enamored with not just you know your sex and your you know your oral skills but i think they're also enamored with the way you communicate or the way you present yourself the way that you share yourselves with them okay Ooh, all right, let's go ahead and move forward, my friends. We're gonna, uh, I think that's about as far as we can go with this pull. So we're gonna pull some additional cards just to see if we can pick up on any additional energies. Let me get a drink and then we'll get into this next part of the reading, okay? All right, Gemini lovers, let's go ahead and see what are the other sexual energies, fantasies, confessions, that are directed at you during this time for the month of October. We do have car sex energy. So someone absolutely loves fucking you in their car is what I'm getting. Or maybe there's just something really enticing about, you know, having sex in the car, maybe in different locations. Maybe, maybe as kind of like, I feel like you might be playing a game with your lover where you're trying to have sex in different parking lots or in different locations. I feel like you're playing some sort of, I don't know if it's like sex bingo or, you know, like a, you know what I mean? Like a sex bingo chart or something. You might also be, you and your person uh, may be doing, uh, you know, having sex in different locations that are part of some sort of, you know, fantasy list or something, okay? All right, also for some of you, you could be at a distance from your person or it could also be that for some of you, if, if you're at a distance, you might be seeing your person pretty soon, sometime in the month of October. You might be picking them up from the airport or they might be picking you up from the airport, okay? But I feel like if you never you never end up leaving the, the airport, you end up having sex in the parking lot in the airport or something. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. We do have bratty lover. Ooh, so either you or your person is a bratty lover. Someone loves their bratty little sub. <laughs> Someone loves the way that their person kind of like resists or the way that their person teases or resists, but ultimately, you know, they know that their person wants the same thing that they want, which is, you know, <laughs> to be handled is what I'm getting here. All right. We do have, um, that being said, we do have submissive unhealthy though. So someone may need to be, someone may not speak up as quickly when something hurts or when something is not, you know, when they're not comfortable with something. So that might be something you need to talk about. Also, I feel like submissive unhealthy, someone could be a little bit codependent. All right. So someone could be a little bit too codependent, especially or sexually dependent on, on the other person. Could be your it could be your lover that's a little too codependent on you okay we do have quiet sex so someone may love to um have sex in places or have sex while someone is on the phone but being forced into situations where someone has to be quiet while the other person you know just gives it to them <laughs> is what i'm getting here just does everything they can does the most to make them make a sound to make them moan or to give themselves away Ooh, all right. Um, 
that being said, we also have doubts and fears. So I feel like your lover is a bit insecure. I feel like maybe that's why your lover, if your lover sometimes acts, you know, too too needy, too clingy, too dependent on you. I think it's because they're afraid that you're going to find someone else, okay? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe you maybe your lover, maybe they're not a bratty lover. Maybe they're more like just like um, you know, they just want to please you. They just want to do what you want. Maybe you want a little more sass, a little more personality, a little more something, but it's like they just don't have the self-confidence to offer that for some of you, okay? I feel like you need if you want your person to be able to do that, you need to help pump your lover up is what I'm getting. You need to help them, you know, get over whatever these self uh confidence issues are all right and it, it could be you know it, it's not going to necessarily be easy or quick okay all right let's go ahead and see here we do have that being said we do have pervy thoughts so it looks like your person it's like they are really looking forward to having sex with you but i feel like there is something in terms of the actual relation the sex is great the relationship though maybe there's something a little bit dicey just because i feel like your person has too many doubts and fears for this to be healthy right now okay also submissive unhealthy maybe your your person or your lover they're trying to do something to please you or satisfy you but it's it's actually putting them it's making them very uncomfortable or it's it's hurting them or putting them in some sort of pain whether it's emotional physical mental spiritual okay let's go ahead and see here what do we have at the um at the bottom of the deck we do have uh we do have secretly unfaithful. Yeah, I feel like your person, I feel like they're always afraid that you're secretly going to cheat on them or that you want someone else or something, even though that's not the way you feel about this person or the situation, okay? This might come to a head. You might have to talk to your lover about this or you might end up talking to your lover about this or something related for the month of October, okay? Let's go ahead and pull another set of cards for you what is what are some of the other sexual energies fantasies sexual confessions dirty little secrets involving or direct directed at our gemini lovers especially for the month of october please okay let's go ahead and take a look here we do have ooh, we have touch it so someone definitely wants you to touch it someone definitely maybe you're actually going to be having sex with this person for the first time i feel like this because this could be a new lover we have sexy wrestling so it looks like you've been you've been playing with each you play with each other you flirt with each other okay you're very playful you're very uh hands-on physical and playful with each other it just hasn't turned into sex yet is what i'm getting okay we do have have um let's go ahead and take a look here but i feel like you're on you're you're flirting with the first step in a relationship with this person okay or a sexual connection with this person all right let's go ahead and see we have likes to watch so the first time you're with this person they may actually want you to strip down for them they might actually want to watch you touch your own body and to pleasure yourself so that they get an idea of what you like and where you like to be touched okay i feel like this person they want to touch you but i feel like first they want to know how to touch you okay we also have oral sex so your person absolutely wants to go down on you wants to uh, or wants you to go down on them i do feel like they want to pleasure you orally they may even want to you know wrestle and then pin you down and then just <laughs> just um give you pleasure with their mouth is what i'm getting here we also have afraid to look or be foolish so it does look like your person though maybe they <laughs> Maybe they are a little bit nervous that they're not going to please you sexually or that you're not going to be satisfied or something. Also, maybe they're afraid to make a move because they're afraid that they're misinterpreting the situation. I feel like, whoa, -oh, Gemini lovers, we definitely have an overthinker here. So I feel like your person is overthinking. I feel like you might have to be the person to make the first move. But I feel like as long as you make it clear to your person that you really want to be with them or that you're really sexually attracted to them i think they're going to be okay they're going to be able to get over it and you're going to have a really sexy time here okay we have don't want you with anyone else though so it looks like your person they don't want this to just be a one and done and and some sort of fling your person here they definitely want this to be 
transitioning between you know from whatever you are now into some sort of long-term relationship or some sort of solid relationship okay i do feel like this person they do have they have legitimate feelings for you and i feel like maybe they've been waiting to have sex with you maybe until they knew that you were 100 percent single or free or maybe until they were sure that they wanted to offer you this this connection or that they wanted to go to the next level with you we have kissing xoxo so i feel like this person you might even be having your first kiss with this person and then maybe like you kiss and then you know they they want to watch you touch your body they want to they want to please you with their you know with their oral skills but i feel like this is very you know it has very romantic undertones as well all right let's go ahead and see here what else uh what else do we have what do we have at the bottom of the deck we have married energy so oh All right, Gemini lovers. Okay, the camera went out. Sorry about that. Uh, I did get married at the end. I do not believe that your person is married, so I think your person is about to ask you to marry them, or whatever this connection is, your person wants something more long-term. They want to be with you in the future. It looks like they want to be exclusive because they don't want you to be with anyone else. I feel like, you know, this is something that might have started off where I... Uh, Maybe most of the time your relationships, you're not sure. People don't always know what they want to go with it or what they want. This person knows what they want. And at the end of the day, this person, they want you. They might want something that's more of conventional or traditional sort of relationship with you. So that might be something to consider, okay? All right, thank you so much, friends. Gemini lovers, please join me again. Gratitude to the divine, to you, and all of creation.